herein lies the rub. A lot of people get disillusioned by, a lot of phys professionals get disillusioned by the industry because you say you do an OMT, you do a master's. And then when you look at the treatment notes of someone, you pick exactly the same treatment notes as, but I feel like for me personally, maybe I'm just justifying it to myself. There's, there's a lot of detail in that process that is not necessarily on the billing sheet, you know what I mean? The the way that you control the session, you know, the way that you make someone feel comfortable, the way that you set a plan in order, the way that you prescribe exercise. There's, okay, it's it, prescribing exercise, taking through some exercise, it's, it's a five or one code, blah, 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 whatever. But the way I do it and cue someone and my experience into how many reps, sets, frequency, the greater context of how that fits into a training load and the patient goals and their sort of level of competence or autonomy, you know what I mean? There's so many details in it, but I feel like that gets completely brushed over working in the, you know, just the system that we, and I, I feel like that deludes a lot of, a lot of people where they say, you know, two times or three times 10 glute bridges is not fixing someone with ITB or, you know what I mean? And they just yeah. write it off and they say, exercise doesn't work. Ultrasound has no evidence. EMS doesn't work there. But yeah. it's not, we're working in the medical field. It's a lot more complicated. Like my whole thing is that people must think a bit deeper about these things.